Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at Husillo Kia of Cape Coral. This morning, we'll tell you about the latest numbers of voter support for Florida's next governor and senator. LCSO asking for help in locating a man who stole a ring and fled on foot and more. Today is Thursday, June 14th, and this is the Morning Report. In the last forecast update of the 2018 Florida citrus season, Florida orange production was dismal but unchanged from May. The latest report brings an end to a tumultuous year highlighted by devastation brought by the 2017 hurricane season. Florida growers reported 30 to 70 percent crop loss after Hurricane Irma made landfall on September 10th, with the southwest region of Florida receiving the most damage and Collier County directly under the eye. Irma's destruction was just another blow for the state's citrus industry, long besieged by falling crop harvest due to diseases such as citrus screening, which kills trees and has no cure. The 2018 season was the worst for the industry since the 1940s. In October, the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services announced that Florida citrus sustained more than $760 million in damages due to Hurricane Irma. Before Irma, preliminary forecasts call for the state to produce 75 million 90-pound boxes of citrus. During the 2017 hurricane season, trees were uprooted, which left many growers' farms underwater for up to three weeks, potentially damaging root systems and decreasing production. After Irma, that number fell to 54 million. Shannon Shep, executive director of the Florida Department of Citrus, said at the close of a very difficult citrus season, they look forward to a quiet, resilient season in the fall. Officers are asking for the public's help in identifying a suspect who allegedly stole a diamond ring from a Fort Myers jewelry store on Monday. According to the Fort Myers Police Department, a man entered the K Jewelers Monday located on Six Mile Cypress Parkway and eventually left the store in possession of a diamond solitaire ring, which he had not paid for and traveled on foot southbound on the parkway. The suspect, who was captured on surveillance footage, is described as a black male between 23 and 28 years of age, approximately 160 pounds, and wearing a goatee. Anyone with information on the suspect is asked to contact the Fort Myers Police Department or those looking to remain anonymous and be eligible for a cash reward of up to $3,000 can contact Crime Stoppers by calling 1-800-780-TIPS online through southwestfloridacrimestoppers.com or through the P3TIPS mobile app. According to a new poll released on Tuesday, Rick Scott holds a 5% lead in his Senate race against sitting Senator Bill Nelson, while Adam Putnam has the advantage over Ron DeSantis in the hunt for the Republican gubernatorial nomination. Almost 18% of the 506 polled remained undecided, up from 14.6 from a previous survey conducted in February. When it comes to the Republican nomination for the gubernatorial race, Agricultural Commissioner Adam Putnam opened up a wide lead over Congressman Ron DeSantis, with 34.5% of respondents supporting the commissioner, compared to 12.6% supporting the congressman. Though some Democrats have been calling for Putnam to step down from the race, after reports surfaced last week that one of the three background checks that are usually applied to Floridians seeking a concealed weapons license was not being run because an employee of the state's Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services was unable to log into the National FBI crime database. In the Democratic race, Gwen Graham continues to rack up establishment support, such as the endorsement of the Florida Education Association last week, though she is still being outspent by the Levine campaign. It remains to be seen whether his money will allow him to gain a foothold outside of his native South Florida. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.